The outcome of the review of the 2015 DCP raised a lot of concerns in terms of how development partners and government agencies managed and prioritized donor funds. Some key findings highlighted the boomerang aid with large components of the development partner employing many foreign technical advisors with limited transfer of skills and knowledge between international technical advisors and local counterparts. National Planning Minister Richard Maru said a new policy will guide development partners in terms of development aid. Rearrange the way we, the, the, the modality we use so that the funds are, are better spent on projects that will have a lasting impact in our country. So under the new uh, reform we are looking at, we want to see donors now using our own institutions to, to deliver donor programs. The revised policy is said to correct these concerns highlighted from the review by effectively coordinating all development cooperation programs and projects and ensure they are linked to the MTDP3. That many donors do not want to work through our own institutions. We donors feel that they are not ready to be used or cannot be trusted and it's up to the donors to help us build the capacity and the governance systems of those. The delivery modalities of the policy will ensure that 50% of donor funds be steered towards economic infrastructure, greater presence at the district level, increased budget support arrangements in accordance with PNG's fiscal requirement for a program-based approach, South-South cooperation between PNG and countries of the South, and climate financing. Donors don't decide which programs we want funded in Papua New Guinea. Their programs are already in the medium-term development plan number three. We as a country must decide on our own development priorities and all we want donors to do is identify the projects that we've already earmarked in the plan and, and look at how we can fund them. So under the new uh, reform we are looking at, we want to see donors now using our own institutions to, to deliver donor programs the country gets 2 billion kina every year from donors. Mr. Maru said they remain as important actors in the development process. He said a new policy will enhance and, when necessary, restore engagement to accelerate inclusive and sustainable economic growth in the country. Charlene Airy, National MTV News.